alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Inshallah, you guys are all doing well and staying safe. Today, we're going to talk about mechanical advantage of a wheel and an axle. Last time we were together, we talked about mechanical advantage of levers and inclined planes. And then you had your quiz. Your quiz will be uploaded to Power School pretty soon. I also want to go over your quiz to help some of you understand why you did the way you did it, how you can improve yourself to get a better grade. So we'll go over that another day, but for now, let's just do wheel and axle. So if you remember from our previous classes, you'll understand that mechanical advantage is equal to load force over effort force, which is also the same as effort arm over load arm. When we're talking about force, we're going to be referring to newtons, and if we're going to be talking about arms, we're going to be referring to distances. Wheel and axle is a machine consists of two turning objects attached to each other attached to each other at their centers. So examples of wheel and axles could be a bike wheel and the axle that comes with it. It could be a Ferris wheel that you would find at a fair. It could be a circular uh, doorknob. All these are examples of wheel and axles. The key to understanding wheel and axles is to understand where is the effort force and where is the load force. Once you have the forces or you have the effort arm and the load arm, you're able to recognize how the wheel and axle is going to work and you can actually find the MA really easily. So you must understand that whenever we talk about effort, we're talking about the turning. And we're, that is going to be our effort arm. The radius of the effort arm is going to be the radius of the turning point. If we're going to be talking about um, load, we're going to be talking about the axle. So the thing that is being turned. So let's take a look at this diagram together. If we look at this diagram, we find that this is going to be our effort. And this will be our load. Okay, so wherever you're inputting the force is going to be the effort, and the one that is being turned due to your input of force is going to be the load. So let's take a look at the question. It says if the radius of the axle is one centimeter, then the radius of the wheel is 10 centimeters. Remember that the axle always refers to the load. In this case, it is one centimeter. And in case of the wheel, it refers to the effort, which in this case is 10 centimeter. And MA, as we know, is because both of these units are going to be in centimeters, we're going to be talking about distance, not force. In which case, our MA is going to be effort arm over load arm. Our effort arm is going to be 10 centimeters, and our load arm is going to be 1 centimeters to give us an ME of 10. Remember, ME has absolutely no units. So this means that wheel and axle provides a simple way to obtain a very high mechanical advantage. The above example shows a simple machine with a mechanical advantage of 10, the radius of which basically means that the radius of the wheel is 10 times the radius of the axle. So that covers our wheel and axle, which is the last mechanical advantage we are going to talk about. There are a few important things that you need to keep in mind. The first is that your mid unit is going to be scheduled for Monday, March the 30th, and it's going to be online through the app known as Quizzes. So 
all of you should know this app. We worked on it when we were in grade 7 as well. It's going to be scheduled between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. After this time, the window for the mid-unit will be closed. You will have 30 seconds to one minute to do each question. They're all going to be multiple choice. They're all going to be shuffled. And you will only obviously have one attempt to do them. So make sure at this time, March 30th, which is a Monday, between 10 to 11, you have access to Wi-Fi and you have an access to either a desktop or a laptop to do your mid-unit. Okay, stay safe. Have a uh, great break, March break, and we'll see you inshallah. No homework over the March break. There's going to be no quizzes this week. I would like you to work on your practice booklet. I've posted a blank copy on Google Classroom. I will post the answer key to the practice booklet um, over the March break. I want to give you some time to do the questions. If you have any questions, you can reach me through Remind or you may um, join me on Google Meets. Yeah, you can call in. I will add you to my Google Meets. So those are the two uh, ways that you can contact me. And there's always, of course, email if you really can't get a hold of me through either one. Okay, stay safe uh, and have, have a great March break.